Mark, why is there no kumikata in Total Judo? Um, the grip fighting is important, but um, my system of judo was not based on being the best grip fighter in the world. Um, my aim was not to uh, dominate everyone with my grip. I was always searching for possibilities to throw someone. I want to uh, see the options, th see the openings. How can I go to a score? For me, that is judo. How can I throw someone on, in, on his back? For me, judo is not being the most dominant grip fighter in the world, which is sometimes effective. But um, for me, judo is how can I get my opponent who's in front of me on his back? And that is, that is about searching for possibilities, searching for openings. And I need some grip fighting for that, um, but it's not the aim of my judo system. If I had the possibility to dominate someone with my grip, that'd be fine. That I, the, then I was in control of the fight. Um, but at, that, at this level, there are so many strong players, especially players who are really focused on grip fighting, that I cannot just dominate people on grip fighting. And the, the advantage of having a wide range of techniques makes you uh, all round and that you can adapt to the situation. So I had a mostly a, a different kind of gripping for every opponent. Uh, and there are many other ways uh, to go around a grip or use the strong grip of your opponent uh, to my advantage instead of just fighting against a grip and have a grip fight of five minutes. I want to go for judo. I want to find the possibilities there are uh, to throw someone on their back. Um, so I, I, use, uh, I used it. Uh, I tried to trick people. I used to uh, um, try to go uh, around uh, um, uh, strong grips uh, just to be able to continue to do judo. That's what, uh, that's what makes it more fun for me as well. Um, that doesn't mean that I didn't have to train for uh, grip fighting as well in training. I did rope climbing, we did grip fighting exercises. We were busy with how can I neutralize a certain grip. Um, but in general, I was looking, uh, when I went into a fight, I had a plan with my grips, but I certainly had a plan with where are my options, uh, where are my possibilities to make the scores. That was more important to me than uh, just be the best grip fighter in the world. And tell us specifically about your sleeve judo, why other people's grips or their dependence on coming in for a grip actually played into your hands and your type of judo with your, with your sleeve um, techniques. Yeah, um, uh, most players have, a certain, have, have their favourite grip and they really work really hard to get that grip. Um, I could use that. Uh, I knew what was coming and uh, I could have uh, 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 different grips, uh, grips they would not expect or uh, uh, break a grip, take the sleeves uh, and do different things than the normal uh, uh, attack from the sleeve and lapel grip. Um, so that gives me an advantage, uh, knowing that someone will come with a certain grip and I can uh, anticipate on that, uh, adapt my style of judo during that match. And what about um, all of your attacks that came from a defensive position? So your defense to attack um, techniques, which came from where a fighter was uh, in a position where they seemed dominant. Tell us uh, how their gripping reliance or their, their strength of gripping in that situation uh, would again play into your hands. Yes, I, uh, I learned to, to, to do judo from a, a defensive position and try to find possibilities there as well. Uh, because um, I wasn't always strong enough to uh, fight the stronger opponents. They, can, they were so strong in dominating me that, and I uh, didn't have the, the power to fight them off. So I was looking for other options and other poss possibilities. And when you keep on searching, there are always options, there are always possibilities. And uh, when I developed that style of attacking from a defensive position, it got more and more of a weapon than a solution. Um, uh, so that way uh, I was able to take control of the situation uh, whilst my, my opponents were thinking that they were in control. And uh, then it, judo is really a game. Um, I could trick my opponents, let them think they are dominant, and I could uh, think when they were in a dominant position, okay, come on, come on, just a little bit more. You think you got me cornered, but uh, I got something in my sleeve. So uh, when they were coming forward and they make that even make, which would make them even more vulnerable, 
because they were really thinking, okay, I'm, I'm in control, I'm in control, and that's the moment that I could come in with the big throws. Okay, give us an example, Mark. Uh, for instance, I have my special sleeve, Seonage, and sometimes people are so focused on holding a good grip that I could use it against them. I pretend to break the grip and they just want to show how strong they are and they just are focused so much on the grip uh, that they walk after me, follow me and trying to show that I can, they can hold the dominant grip um, but they don't know that uh, I'm just pretending, trying to break the grip, get them following me and then they have a forward momentum and I can come in with a seonage. Uh, 